come on out to Brown Mountain Bottle Works at 115 East Union Street in Morganton, North Carolina. The place to be for great craft beer. Browse their shelves filled with hundreds of craft beer selections. Relax and enjoy one of their eight draft taps. Show your love for the store with their logo t-shirts, hats, and glassware. Want to see what they have in stock 24 hours a day? Check out their website at www.brownmountainbottleworks.com. We'll see you there. Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave. We're the NC Beer Guys. We promote NC Craft Beer online at ncbeerguys.com. We do these videos to introduce you to new things that are available across the state related to beer. And we've got a brand new something to bring you today mm -hmm. from the Boojum Brewing Company yep. in Waynesville. It's the fourth brewery to locate in Waynesville. This one is a little bit unique. We were there recently. And they've opened also a tap room downtown yep. at 50 North Main Street. And then, of course, they've got the production facility, which is outside of town. It's a 15-barrel brewery out on Dayton Drive. Very shiny. Beautiful place. <laughs> all, all just new. It's in a, not a new building, but you walk inside the front door, and it's like all brand new and white and bright, and it's just beautiful. Yep. So we visited recently with Kelsey Baker, who co-owns the brewery with her, bro with her brother, Ben, who makes the beer. And they were kind enough to give us these growlettes, which we call them. It's not no, it's a 32 ounce growler, these smaller growlers. Growlettes. To bring home to sample. And we've got today the uh, blueberry coffee porter, which is a smooth and roasty brown porter with cold brew coffee and a subtle touch of blueberry. Can't wait. And it should prove to be one of Dave's favorites based on his <laughs> coffee flavored drinking habits. That's right. And the blueberry coffee comes in at 5.5% ABV. And the other one we're gonna drink in a minute is the Belgian IPA, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So as I said, Boojum is the fourth brewery to locate in Waynesville. Uh, the tap room has its own beers and guest beers on draft, plus bottles that include alcohol-free and gluten-free beverages, wine and liquor drinks, in addition to great food, uh, which we'll be sure to stop in and try on our next visit to Waynesville. Yep. We didn't get a chance to do that this time. So there's going, they're young guys doing a great job, and I think they're going to be a real addition to the Waynesville beer scene. And Ben went here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. He did go to. F I didn't thought. What is it? Yeah, you mentioned that. He did. Which you'll see in the upcoming NC Beer Buzz. That's right. On Thursday. It's got a coffee aroma. And yeah, a very I'm, slight fruit. No, I'm, you don't get the fruit. No, I'm getting coffee. Well, let's see what the taste is like. Getting coffee. Now I get. I get yeah. Now see now I get, and it's not this rich coffee flavor. Actually, I mean, it's it's got a mild coffee flavor with that little bit of sweetness to it. And almost none of the coffee bitterness that you get from some coffees. Mm -hmm. This is, it's just like Dave said, it's a, it's a, mm. it's a prominent flavor, but not bitter in any way. Right. And I think That's it, the best way of saying it balances it. well with, right. I get a, a decent amount of blueberry. It's not a fruit beer, of course. Right. But you would know that it's there. Hmm. And as a porter, it might warm up and do even more prominent on the flavors. Yeah, we were kind of bad with that. So we were just came right from the fridge and we did this. And we went right so, to it. So, so we need two more glasses. I'm going to put this one aside. Oh, and come back after we do the Belgian. Uh -huh. And see how it's done. <laughs> yeah. So talk among yourselves. So. Oh, I forget I mic the number over here and I can be heard. Hey, here's the rest of the label. Put that down below here. Our new Asheville glass, we just got back from an Asheville trip. And one of our favorite White Street pint glasses. Okay. So this is a, a Belgian IPA, as I said, and they described it as spicy Belgian nose up front with a clean, bitter finish. And this one comes in at 7.2% ABV. Oh, very pretty. And, uh, you know, I love some Belgians. Tell you. And I'm not quite a hot head in, by any sense of the world, though I'm learning to appreciate the IPAs more and more. That, that is gorgeous. So this could be a great mix for me, an yeah. IPA with a Belgian yeast behind it. Mm -hmm. this, might, yep. this might be excellent. But isn't that pretty? It's beautiful beer, nice effervescence. It's clear, great color. Right. Nice. It's got a mild hop 
uh, no wrong slight, way, yeah. now did they say which hop it was? Because I'm getting citrusy. I didn't. That I do not have it on my cheat sheet. Okay. And I, they may have told us when we were there, but yeah, because it's. Well, that also could come from the Belgianness. Mm, no, the I know Belgian. a Bel I know a Belgian aroma. Because <laughs> I think we, I get that a little bit too. This I, the hop aroma does not cover over total the Belgianness. Oh, I'm getting because it's got well to me the hop aroma was got the sweet citrusy. Mm -hmm. That's prominent in the aroma for me. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah. Ah, now you see. Now you get your Belgian mix. Yeah, very much. With the hop. But oh, really is, refreshing. Very appealing to me. Yeah, yeah I bet you really like that one a lot. Because it's not <laughs> overly hoppy for an IPA at all. Right. And it's got enough of the, what I like out of a Belgian that's just... And they hear, you probably hear the gulp big time from me. Yeah, we, we're working <laughs> on a new, a new system the last few times. We we're wired mic now instead of using the audio straight from the camera. So we, sound, we, had, we, we hope people, it sounds better. Yeah, we have people complaining about the audio, so let's do it better. We hope we're up, up in our game a little bit. Yeah. Well, so uh, do you remember enough about the uh, name, Boojum? To talk about it, I do. I have my cheat notes. Well, because I just edited the video, so I know. Okay, but so, you can tell them. Well, I know. Um, we thought, not knowing anything about Boojum, we thought, where did that name come from? So of course we asked them, and there is a legend behind it. It's kind of like the Bigfoot of Haywood County up in the mountains, okay. who comes down from the Eagle's Nest, right, and comes down from the mountain periodically and in search of gems. Yep. And you'll see they use the gem in As their the, logo. Yep. Because the Boojum, which is kind of like the Bigfoot of Western North Carolina, yep. he comes for, and he also likes beer, beer and uh, moonshine. And they didn't tell us this part, but I found it in my research oh. that he hides his gems back in his lair okay. in the bottom of jugs with moonshine on top. Okay. So that if any good person come and looking for to recover their gems that he stole from them, no good mountain man would pour out the moonshine. <laughs> so wow. they'd have to drink the moonshine to get to the gems, right. and by then he could be back in his lair and they'd be conked out sleep. Yep. And he could off them. Off off them or do whatever <laughs> a Bigfoot guy does. He'd flip that switch. So this is the uh, So uh, Boojum, the name, ties them back to the culture and the uh, community there. Which in. is really cool. I mean, it's a very unique name. I, uh, in my research, I found it as part of um, Carol. Um, Uh-oh, Carol. Who wrote Alice in Wonderland? Um. I can't think of the first two initials. But also wrote Jabberwocky, and mm -hmm. then he had the Boojum as, as a so totally different poem. And the Boojum, it was the same way that people disappeared. People in the story disappeared. One guy disappeared from the story, and they blamed it on the Boojum. Oh. Um, so, so they do something about Western North Carolina, too. So, <laughs> and it was the Boojum is gray-haired, has a tail. They um, said, like, eight-foot tall, yeah. hairy, monster-type guy, but walks upright. Okay. Thick, shaggy, gray hair, and human-like face. Okay. But it's by no means handsome. They had to throw that in like you would think that would be handsome. <laughs> really? But anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's the story of Boojum. Yep. And uh, Kelsey and Ken are going, uh, Ben, are going to do a great job, I think, and be well received there. Oh, yeah. So let's uh, see if our blueberry. Could it help any? Before we say goodbye. Yep. And they also, because they, they have a distributor, so you're going to start seeing them more places around the state, which is nice. I mean, they're getting out. That's quick for them for, for them to get out, you know, and yeah. be uh, you know around the state as opposed to just kind of locked within their you know, region. I mean, what you want to do when you're a smaller brewery, I mean, they, they got a big system, but they're still new. And as we often find out, you know, breweries open with all kinds of goals and aspirations, mm -hmm. and some just want to be uh, big deals in their little communities. Right. Some like, want to be regional. Um, some out of the box have goals of being statewide, yep. and they all achieve those uh, different accomplishments at different levels. Yep. These guys hope to be a, kind of a big player yep. eventually. Yeah, they, got, they are talking about canning within the next few months, and I said, so uh, you, you find should, them around the state. before too long, not have to go just to Waynesville and some local accounts to get to Boojum. Yep. Let's see what the try it now. Blueberry Coffee yeah. Porter did. Yeah, 
I think the coffee's come up. The coffee, yeah. <laughs> the coffee, the coffee ramps up a little bit, but it does, but not in the bitterness. And it still doesn't overwhelm the uh, berry. No, no. It's actually very pleasant to drink. It would be one of those you can sit on the deck, and if it got totally warm, it still be drinkable. Yep. <laughs> this well, is... I mean, kind of like iced coffee, mm -hmm. but now it's a beer, and it's a blueberry beer. That's great. Yep. So find your way to Waynesville for now, either to the tap room. Um, or they well, have they, a they, small you, little tasting and facility. They, they, you know, they'll fill growlers there. They, they, they don't they, really encourage a lot of people to come up there because it's a, it's a working facility. Right, but you can um, do it. But you can do it. And look for them soon on the uh, shelves of your favorite bottle shops and on draft at your favorite drinking holes. That's right. So this is David Glidden, NC Beer Guys, reminding you until next time, drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.